Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with the NK. Stay frosty. Togo's brings back their awesome pretzel rami that I had a blast reviewing last year, only this time out, it's bringing a couple of friends along for the ride. You know, the lengths that some would go for a Togo are perfectly understandable, especially with the return of their signature hot pretzel buns over here. And I have to say, I'm very excited to go into this version right now. Feast your eyes on number 72, the Turkey Bistro, looking absolutely stacked in the middle right there. Let's pop the pretzel bun on top, take a look on the inside. Looks like plenty of that zesty bistro sauce. We have some smokehouse bacon, and up against the very top there, we actually have some of their aged white cheddar as well. We've got some tomato, we've got some pickles, and a quarter pound of fresh turkey breast, guys. This is really insane. The amount of meat in here is pretty crazy. Take a look at that, delicious stuff. We've got some more bistro sauce on the very bottom, and of course, the very bottom of that pretzel bun. An awesome situation. Probably my all-time favorite bread to have with just about any type of sandwich out there, aside from pastrami, of course. But looking really, really tasty. Let's see if this one delivers the flavor. I have a feeling it's gonna. It's the number 72 Turkey Bistro here at Togo's. Let's peep out this flavor. So if you're a fan of high quality, delicious looking food reviews, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to tap that bell icon so you can be notified as soon as new content drops every week. Now let's dive into this one. It's the all new Turkey Bistro here at Togo's and this thing is dripping with bistro sauce. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Right off the break, that zesty bistro sauce is coming out extremely strong right now. It's almost like a Thousand Island type dressing. Mixing in with that aged white cheddar and the smokehouse bacon. Those are the dominant players so far. And then the turkey begins to come up in the back end. And of course, the nice chewiness of that pretzel bun. Guys, it's a very nice combination as you'd expect it to be. Turkey, bacon, melted cheese, and a really, really nice sauce. Let's keep going. Mmm. Like I mentioned earlier, a very meaty situation on the inside, even though it's kind of flattened just a little bit with those two bites. As you can see in the middle, a very, very nice combination of goodness on this one. And let's not forget about those pickles, adding a little bit of snap, crunch, and acidity to the whole package here. Now, while the tomatoes are out of this one, because that's definitely not my cup of tea, you actually have a lot more to look forward to should you like them for sure. But guys, the combination of that bistro sauce, the cheese, and the bacon is a beautiful situation and then everything else begins to come on in here. And of course, it's inside the pretzel bun. How bad could that really be? Well, obviously not bad at all, based upon my opinion. And as you guys are probably seeing on the screen right now, this was made with tender loving care, guys. Definitely everything layered up very nicely and very, very plentiful with each of the ingredients, as you're seeing right now. Just a delicious combination of goodness. And guys, the pretzel bun rocks. These things should really be on the menu year round. Just saying. Mmm. It just has just the right amount of denseness and hardiness overall, and it's just better than a regular traditional hoagie type bun, much less a regular hamburger style bun. Just overall, a very delicious combination of goodness. Let's go for one more bite, one more close up, and we'll finish this one out. Yes, sir, the Turkey Bistro is absolutely stacked, and if you have what I'd like to call a quadfecto with that pretzel bun, the cheese, the bacon, and that bistro sauce working in unison with each other, it's a beautiful situation. And of course, a quarter pound of that turkey breast is nothing to sneeze at either, guys. Just a very hearty sandwich and well worth your time to check out. Delicious stuff. How far would you go for a togo? Yeah, the pretzel bun, as far as I'm concerned, is the best delivery method to deliver the goodness over here at Togo's, especially with this combination that they had on the inside of this turkey bistro. It works extremely well. The combination is very delicious. And hey, did I mention there's no shortage of bistro sauce on the sandwich? Guys, prepare to have some napkins handy. It is well worth your time to give this one a shot. As messy as it is, it's a delicious messy. Definitely recommend it. So with that said, I'm going to have to give number 72, the Turkey Bistro featuring that awesome pretzel bun here at Togo's, a rock solid 9.5 out of 10. And the only reason for that, guys, is because the initial pretzel rami still holds a special place in my heart. That's my absolute favorite sandwich over here at Togo's because of that combination of pastrami and the pretzel. But guys, this combination with the turkey and everything else on it, a very, very close second. Let me just tell you, a very close second. But of course, the obvious question, at least for me anyway right now, is did this sandwich look like it was number one to you? Drop some comments down below. If you guys have a Togo's in the area, how excited are you to give the pretzel buns a shot with this version right now? Is the Turkey Bistro gonna be your version of choice? How about the Chicken Dijon or maybe the classic pretzel rami? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another episode of Peep This Out, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why you stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Hey everyone, I just wanted to take a quick moment at the end of this video to send a huge shout out and thank you once again, just like I've done on Instagram, Twitter, as well as the community tab here on the channel, thanking every one of you for helping me achieve over 20,000 subscribers. 
Guys, it's a crazy number just to look at. And let me just tell you, with 20 plus thousand of you putting your faith in me to deliver that content every week like I do, I am more passionate than ever to keep continuing what I'm doing. And let me just say the best is still yet to come. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's continue to make some memories together. And for those of you guys who are finding me for the very first time right now, you may see some stuff on your screen right over here right now pointing to some things you might be interested in checking out. Most notably my last review that I did, as well as something that I think YouTube's gonna want you to check out anyway. So guys, thank you so much again for your support and stay tuned because there's a lot more to come. All right, everyone, until next time, I'll talk to you soon.